Hi everybody, this is Urkin Fresh, aka Blue Phoenix. I got a, a great uh, new product there here to review called 2C Audio Kaleidoscope. It's a trip! <laughs> uh, it's a really cool effects plugin for creative stuff. I'm going to show you some examples here as I go through it. Currently it's $200, I think until March 1st. Then it goes up to $250. You can download a trial and uh, give it a whirl. And I'm going to show you a little bit about what it does. Um, it seems like a really interesting, cool plugin to play around with. So uh, there's several different ways to use it. Um, let's see here. I'm currently in demo mode, which means I can only have one instance of this uh, at a time. So I need to delete that other one here. So I'm going to go over here and grab a uh, kaleidoscope. So you can actually use this in a mode where it kind of um, operates itself by using a white noise input. Basically what Kaleidoscope is, is it's a way, it has like hundreds of resonators in there. And if you know how to tu a, a tuning fork works, basically if you have a, a frequency that comes in that's the right, um, you know, matches the resonator, then that resonator will start to vibrate and create a similar uh, frequency and pass that on forward. So what we're doing here is we're taking an input signal and exciting these resonators uh, simulation here and uh, it uses these image maps to do the um, do the excitement <laughs> so I'm just gonna pick one at random here and put it in its kind of self mode here let's do Jaws in Tokyo just to start off with and uh, what you can see here is in this image map you'll see some green and some blue these represent the left and the right channels so um, you can also see some cyan here. That's when you have both left and right going at the same time. So there's, you can see here, just by looking at this, there's a little bit of a uh, stereo effect. Uh, from left to right, that's time. And from bottom to top is frequency. So I'm just going to hit play on this thing. Uh, let me put it in the self mode. You just drag this white one all the way up and hit play. Hold on a second. Let's turn that off. There we go. So, you can hear it's kind of chaotic sounding. You can change the scale right here. It says here are Joshi right now. But if we pick something that's got a little bit more of a melodic sound to it, it'll start to sound a little bit more, a little bit more. I think. Try some other stuff here. I think Cat sounds pretty cool. So right now it's like an E Phrygian scale. Uh, it's actually using A as a root note. I can go here and change it to like D. And change the octave. So uh, by using the white noise input, you're just kind of getting all the frequencies. I believe it's these red dots are the notes that it's actually exciting. You can change the number of partials and uh, duplicates which will change uh, kind of which notes are going to hit over time. You'll notice as I adjust these, the dots here change. If we change the feedback, it has a little bit more of a... Uh, each one's longer. Basically, the resonator is going to resonate longer. The mod changes the image map to be more intense. The width is going to give you a little bit more... Stereo, you can see the image map turning more green and, and blue to see more violet or shellac. Random is going to randomize the pitch sound. Also, give it a high cut and a low cut. If you only want the bass, for example. I'm not 100% sure what soft does. <laughs> you also have an input image map and an output image map. Uh, and you can change these, so like, say so I select a different one of these. And you can kind of see the sound goes along, you notice the transitions on the image are sharper, and so the sound has also got these sharper transitions in it. And so it's pretty wicked, it's, it's a lot of just kind of trying things out and seeing how it sounds. I'm not exactly sure if you can input your, import your own images here. Um, but yeah, so you can change your scale, you can change uh, changes the image maps, you can change the root note. So 
So that's if you have it in a kind of a self-synth mode. It's basically putting white noise into the system here. If I go in here and I just cut this kaleidoscope out here and put it on this uh, audio channel, I'm going to send some white noise into it from this channel. This is simply, uh, if I turn this off and play this, it's white noise. You'll see over here if I go to kaleidoscope now and uh, turn off the white noise self thing, it's going to sound exactly the same. Or it's not. Um, <laughs> audio to kaleidoscope. That's odd. What did I do wrong? <laughs> it is a terrible demo. I'm not getting any sound out of Kaleidoscope. I must have ticked it off when I uh, did a cut paste. Let me do a... Uh, let's drag a new one on here. Here we go. We're back. So we drag this down. You'll see it's doing the same thing with a white noise input as with... Uh, this cell thing. So I'm going to turn off the white noise and I'm going to put in a drum loop and show you kind of some, some cool things you can do here. So let's, let's play the drum loop. I've also, I've also got the output of Kaleidoscope going into a reverb. Um, so it, it does add a bit of reverb. The reverb being uh, the 2C audio ether. So um, anyway, let's I had a good preset picked out here for this one. Uh, okay. Let's get that one. And if I turn the uh, dry down. And let's pick a, uh, let's pick a better. playing around with this so much I forgot what my settings were. The demo doesn't let you save your presets so it's kind of a somewhat of a hindrance but this did sound better before. <laughs> I'm not sure what I've done here. There we go. If I turn up the feedback So it's kind of neat. You can get some really interesting sounds uh, just by playing around with this. If I just go pick a different one. Wow. Okay. So you can also set hertz. Uh, that's pretty low. Can I change that? Oh. Let's try. Uh, let's jack that up some. <laughs> That's your thing, you know. Let's try something different. Not much coming out there. So there's just all sorts of stuff you can play around with here. There's a lot of cool presets. I've also set up a different uh, a um, kind of soundscape here using uh, the Alchemy synth as an input. So let's listen to that dry. And uh, let's see here, I've got one I picked out earlier that sounded really cool with it. Uh, I believe E 
So if I go over here and select E, it's similar to the coder, so we're basically having to multiply the two signals together. <laughs> so wherever the, the two uh, frequencies overlap is where you're going to get the most sound. So uh, even with an E, you're going to get some of the partials, or the harmonics are going to uh, happen to coincide with A. By switching this to E, they should be a lot more congruent. Yeah, it sounds like some kind of watery kind of thing. I mean, that's pretty cool. Tidal beacon. That looks interesting. So, uh... They kind of build this as something great for ambient uh, or maybe chill out kind of stuff. Uh, I think it's just a really interesting way to get some some new sounds out of your productions. So if I kind of if I mix it in with the dry signal, this is this is dry by itself. Get some really neat stuff here. And let's see, there's. Some of these are, are pretty good. This might get really loud. Um, is it this one? That wasn't it. Uh, maybe it was harmonic. Lydian Llama. So uh, anyhow, <laughs> 2C Audio Kaleidoscope, uh, you can go download the demo, try it out. Um, if you want to save yourself a lot of frustration, make sure that you press the play button. <laughs> I played around with this for like, I swear, it was almost an hour of like, I wasn't pressing play in the DAW, <laughs> I just had it stopped and I was playing notes on a synth, I'm like, it's not doing anything. <laughs> as soon as I hit play, it was like... Whoa, my mind is blown. You can also check out the documentation for it. Uh, it's very cryptic. I found out that uh, just playing around with it uh, was a lot more fun than trying to understand the documentation. Gosh, where is that? There was one that was just really epic sounding. Uh, this might have been it here. Yeah, this ripply looking thing. And I think what's going on here is you can see that we're going to hit higher and higher frequencies as we go. You're also going to hit more notes. Notes hitting at once. Um, we can also speed up the time. We're impatient. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Check it out. Again, this is uh, Ergafresh, a.k.a. Blue Phoenix. I uh, hope to see you next time.